happy Saturday. So I'm literally, we're just, actually I'm with Renee, but um, we're just exiting the, we're just exiting, <laughs> we're just exiting the parking lot. I just shot some pictures. So now we're going to get some food because we're hungry bad. I'm so hungry, like, I'm starving. I can't even say the word hungry correct. So yeah, we're both starving, really. We're gonna go to Jackie and Son, which I'm so excited for. Like, that's like Renee's and I, old stomping grounds. We used to go there all the time. So now, I'm going to go to Steve Madden, though. We're gonna just look at some boots for fall because me and I have no Guys, I don't even know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Renee, just, you know, you know I'm park outside of Crit Umbrella. Whatever, yeah. Okay. So it's like close. Little path. Oh, oh shit, I gonna get him for you. Girl, okay. <laughs> that lumberjack. I wish y'all just loved <laughs> the lumberjack. <laughs> Renee, you, you can't say words like that. Is lumberjack racist? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. Reverse so man. <laughs> that does what? <laughs> I don't cut <laughs> lumber, that's what? <laughs> We're gonna run into Steve Madden really quickly to try on some boots because through all my classic cl clear offs that I have performed, my dad dash went all on my boots them and I have no shoes to wear for fall season. So we're gonna look at some boots really quickly, see what's cute, what's not cute. And then also we also have plans later and stuff so I just don't wanna like get dressed later and regret that I didn't check it out. So we're gonna just run in really, really quickly. Yeah. That's basically all I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't know why I was like gearing up. Um, I need to find my bag with my... Can you open the bag for me? By the way, I'm wearing this really cute set from, um... I'm wearing this really cute set from... I'll tag it for you guys. It's really, really nice. It's from Les the Label. What's it called? Les or Les? Something like that. Did I tell you the... With our Wait, the drama. Yeah. Anyways, so let's go to Steve Madden. You guys have not seen Renee in so long. Hey I mean, wait, I can't even see you, but oh. Hey guys, guys, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Should can she, should we ask Renee where she's been, or we should have put her on the spot? No, let's not put her on the spot. <laughs> guys, let's not do it. They've been asking me for you, and I'm just like, listen, guys, listen. <laughs> So this is the style of the shoe, the linden. I got one in black and one in the tan color. Um, I got a size six, and um, this is basically what it looks like. I really love the detailing coming down the middle. Well, not really the detailing, but just like a stitching coming down the middle. And they're pretty um, structured in a sense where they will just stay up, but they're also very soft at the same time. And I also picked one up in this bone color. I have never owned a shoe in this shade before but I think it might be interesting because I wear white so often I feel like it might be a vibe but my hair came in from Belle Fab I am so excited I'm going to be getting my hair done again soon I love the short hair but I really want long hair and I'm debating whether or not I should do some color not the entire thing but definitely like dark roots and maybe like a balayage like at the end I really want long hair and I really want it to be like a little bit like lighter colored I mean I don't ever do my hair any Thing other than black so I'm very nervous but yeah this is the hair right now and the hair is so soft let me tell you something okay Belle Fab collection the quality is just everything this is the only hair that I wear so this is the packaging of all the bundles neatly packed and I love her new packaging okay I love it so much so I got four bundles because I want it to be nice and full. I'm just ready for long hair, but I really want to get it when it gets really cold outside because right now it's just not hot enough. But let me unbox them so I can show you. So 
So here we have the hair out of its packaging and you can just tell like the quality of this hair. It's literally so good. I mean, it's really raw. It's raw hair. So, you know, they're not all the same, but look how stunning this is. Like I'm so, I cannot wait. I literally cannot wait. We have made it to dinner at Limani Seafood Grill. Um, we've been here before, you guys have seen. Into Jillette's outfit, this is everybody. <laughs> Everybody's there. Anyways, we just made it, so let's cross this road, because this road is a little bit, I mean, can you hold the wine for me? So everyone's like, please. Yes. Watch your back, guys. Fire piece of gun. So we were actually having a family dinner so i didn't really vlog much but we come here all the time my family loves this place because they have like red snapper and stuff however they were out of stock um that night so we ended up just going with this lobster pasta and we all basically just got seafood because that's what they're famous for hey guys happy wednesday i look really crazy at the present moment but today I decided to stay home because I had a few things to do. I had to clean my makeup brushes. I had to clean my makeup container. I'm gonna rearrange that whole thing. My room, I'm just I'm breaking down a bunch of boxing, boxes, unboxing some PR stuff and just getting myself organized. And I took my sewing out, as you can tell by the crazy hair. I took my sewing out because I wanted to get my new Belfab, Belfab hair installed. I was actually going to do my hair myself this time around, but I decided not to because I just don't need the, the stress, you guys. Um, and I called my stylist that I usually go to. Um, she was busy, so I'm going to like the second person that I always go to, and she's able to fit me in tomorrow at 10.30. I was way hoping for an appointment slot today, but it's, all, it's fine. I always do these things at the last minute, so I kind of just have to take what I can get. I don't know, it's a weird day. I'm also not in the mood to do anything or talk, so I mean, you might not even see me again, to be honest. I don't know what's wrong with me. Nothing is wrong. I mean, I'm in a great mood. I'm just like, I guess it's because my hair isn't done. Makes sense. I mean, you guys know me. I'm more chatty when I'm dolled up, you know? I'm just joking. <laughs> Okay, really quick update. I'm now dyeing my hair. I did a really quick relaxer along the edges, so like a touch up, and then I applied some semi-permanent dye, basically a rinse, over my entire head. So I'm gonna let this sit as I go ahead and stack my makeup drawers and kind of just organize my makeup. I don't really know if I wanna sit under a dryer right now, if I'm being honest. I don't really wanna sit under a dryer, but I have a pack of plastic caps here.
relaxing so my hair is pretty much done for the night relaxed the edges i what else did i do i dyed it i deep conditioned it and now this is what it's looking like i will say i did get some growth you know from my little protective sew-in style i got a little bit of growth so i'm pretty excited about that because it definitely wasn't doing this when it first went up it's a lot shorter so hopefully by the time i take down my next sew-in will be like here hopefully and then you know each month i get some length i can't wait to have my hair out again i really want to get my hair to um a bob length before i start wearing it out again so i'm very excited to get it hey guys today is thursday i just woke up one second the lens always does this weird thing sorry guys my camera died but i'm now at the hair salon and this is glam bar in union new jersey i go to the stylist named monet and she basically does my hair this is me in the waiting area and the braidist there does my braid pattern and this is what that looks like and you guys will see the finished product shortly so i'm now at kung fu tea i came to get a bubble tea um, my hair is done though monet did a fantastic job like i'm literally so obsessed with my hair i'm gonna prop you guys down so you can see a proper look because i'm obsessed Like, can you believe she did four bundles? I mean, so far. Anyways, my number is 27 for my tea. guys i am back from getting my hair done i didn't take my camera because i don't think sometimes but um i got my hair done and um i showed you guys the braiding pattern i think i was vlogging on my phone for a little bit this is the hair um i, I need to tie it down so the flyaways don't act this crazy um because my hair is very unruly but this is basically what the hair looks like i'm so happy with the length i thought i was gonna be nervous to like wear it this long but Honestly, it's growing on me. I love everything about it. It's so cute. I stopped at the grocery store right after I got my hair done. I went to pick up just some like stuff that I needed. So let's do a really quick like Jamaican grocery haul, right? So I got some instant cornmeal porridge. You guys know I love to just have these on a regular day because they're just really quick and easy to make. Then I got some plantain chips. I only got two bags of that i got some tiki bars because i love tiki bars and i love the vanilla thrilla um flavor then i just got three tamarind balls also a fave and then i got some maria cookies i got the smaller pack because honestly i go crazy with these cookies like i would literally sit and eat a whole full size one by myself in 10 minutes so just kind of I got the small one because we can't afford anything else. Like I need to go back to the gym. I haven't been doing anything. Um, maple syrup. What's this? I'm sorry. Instant oatmeal and the maple brown sugar flavor. I usually buy the variety pack, but I literally would only eat the maple and the brown sugar flavor. So I'm happy that they have just that one, you know. I also got some vegetable oil because I have to fry this bad boy. There was no more Goya plantain frozen ones, only the, the sweet one, and I don't like the sweet one, so I guess I have to make this from scratch. And honestly, I went to the grocery store for mackerel because I've been craving the plantain and mackerel dish I made last week in last week's vlog because I'm just... I'm the kind of person when I like something I really go crazy and I eat it so much so I'm kind of in a plantain and tin mackerel phase right now so that's what I'm cooking every single day I also got this tiny thing of cheese this is a cheese that we have in Jamaica a lot of and I love that cheese to eat with bun but I also love to eat it with some water crackers so and then finally I have some Malta and I got two things of Malta. I only got two, another whole pack because Malta is also one of those things that's like very, yeah, it's so much sugar. And I really would go crazy with some Malta. And then the final thing that I have is just some sausages. I mean, I love these. I've been eating these since I was a child. And it's just like a very nostalgic thing, you know? Renee hates when I eat them because she thinks they're so gross, but Renee can't go on in them. 
So yeah, that's basically what I have going on today. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna tie my hair up. I also have to fix my leave out. I think she put hairspray, so it's very stiff. So I'm gonna fix that because I hate when my hair feels stiff. But um, I'm just going to relax for the rest of the evening. I have to start editing the vlog that you're in now. That way on Sunday, I can have it uploaded very early for you guys. I know a bunch of you guys email me or not email me, but me message me saying that, you know, you're in a different country and when I upload the vlogs like too late in the day, you guys can't get to watch it. And I hear you and I'm trying to do better at just making them earlier. So just bear with me in, in the meantime so I can adjust my schedule to accommodate that request. Oh my god, my flyaways look so crazy. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. The next time you see me, I will be cute. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna edit for the day. And then when I get hungry, I'm gonna go make the macaroni and plantain. I'm not gonna film it because you guys already saw me film it last week. So I put my hair in a ponytail with like a little bun at the back and I just tied it down. I mean, in a few hours, this is going to be even flatter than how it looked before. Um, yeah, so this is basically how I sleep. I always get questions about this, like how do I sleep with my sew-in and all of that. Tie it down, girls. Tie it down. Anyway, sidebar, I'm catching up on comments on all of my platforms and most of them are like, what did you do to your lips? <gasps> is something different? I didn't notice. Today's Friday. I just got back from getting my nails done and a pedicure. I went to get my nails, one second, sorry. So I went to get my nails cut down because I hate having long nails when I have long hair. I just feel like I have to pick one. It's either the long nails or short hair or long hair and short nails. I don't know, I just cannot have them both long at the same time. So I just got like a really short French. Let me flip the camera around so I can show you properly. So this is what it looks like, just like a really nice short classy french i love it and i love the smile lines like they're like really nice and deep and yeah i really wanted it to go shorter but because my natural nails are so long i had her cut it down exactly to my natural nail length so that's what it looks like and these are my natural nails essentially so um this is what it looks like so today's just gonna be a typical friday for me i really want to work on a video and have it up for you guys by um it's i think it's like 11 o'clock now yeah it's like 10 42 and i have like a video up for you guys by two i already started editing last night so it's pretty much done i'm just doing the final edit now and um, i'm just gonna focus on doing laundry i have two loads of laundry to do whites and colors i don't have that many black clothes so i might just throw that in with the color i usually do three loads white colors and the blacks but might just do two to be quite honest because i didn't really wear, wear a lot of black this week so i don't think i have a lot yeah that's pretty much what i'm going to be going on with today I'm, um again a really chill day just doing some errands i also have a date at 8 45 i completely forgot about that hold on let me check the text message again because i want to make sure yep reservations at 8 45 so yeah we have a date at 8 45 so we probably will need to get ready at 7 so okay i mean a lot of things to do but not that many things just need to like wash everything once i do my laundry and fold i'll be okay let's just eat first <laughs>
Okay, laundry day is going very, very well. I just need to put my sheets on right now, but all my other clothes and stuff are in the drawer. But yeah, and then I also gave my leave out a full wash. I told you guys yesterday that I wasn't really happy with how it was looking and had way too much product in it. Like she would, she used a wax stick and then she used hairspray, I think, which is fine. She was just trying to help it blend as best as possible. But I literally hate when there's that much product in my hair. And yesterday I did a little quick like water spritz and some conditioner, but that wasn't enough. So I gave it a full on wash and deep conditioning treatment. And you guys can tell the difference, I think. It looks so much better already. Um, so I'm just gonna allow it to air dry. I don't put heat on my hair very often, so. I'm gonna allow it to air dry for maybe 20 minutes and then I'll just do a very like warm blow dry to kind of dry it further. Then I'm going to just tie it down with some, with like the LOC method, which is what I've been using on my hair even when it's relaxed because my hair really loves it and it really helps it retain moisture. So I'm gonna just tie it down in hopes that it will just blend, but I think it's going to. I mean, it's already blending so well and it's wet. So yeah, cleaning is going well. I'm kind of hungry. I kind of feel like I want to go make a snack again. I only had crackers and cheese for breakfast. And I'm kind of hungry. It's 2 o'clock. I have a late dinner. So I kind of want to do that too. But I'm going to clean my room first. I'm so sorry. I'm just like so annoyed to watch. But I'm going to just clean my bed. Get everything, my sheets on. Get the trash out. Because I threw a bunch of clothes on the floor from what I'm not going to be using anymore. And then once that's done, I can like, you know, relax and eat. But I can't relax unless my place is clean. There's something about just, mm. All right, let's go. I talk too much. Time to get dressed. I have no idea. I'm having a tamarind ball. We're going to a Cuban place. I have no idea what I'm to wear. But I was thinking. Sorry, I'm so rude. A cropped sweater. Right? A crop sweater and like I'm trying to find like white trousers. Hold on. So I was thinking a crop sweater with like white trousers, like something really chill and loose, and then I can wear like a little like a lingerie top underneath. But not really lingerie top, but like you know those top that has the lace on top. All right, guys, really quickly before I step out the house, I am wearing, let me show you. I'm wearing my hair to the front like this. I decided to go with a sweater. It's a button down sweater, but I paired a camisole underneath and I'm just going to wear it as a top. And I'm just going to just pull my hands up so it comes up gracefully and then hair to the front. And then I'm going to be wearing these wide leg -like trousers from Aritzia. I love these. You've probably seen me wear these a million times. And then I'm going to bring the Chanel bag. I actually wanted to talk to you guys really briefly about this. So I took the Chanel bag out of the closet and it was looking kind of dry and dehydrated. But I had gotten a leather moisturizer from Coach for my Coach bag a long time ago. And I decided to put it on the Chanel bag. And now it's all shiny and back to new back to how it was when i first got it so i'm definitely going to moisturize it a lot more because i did not know that was a thing so yeah basically the outfit for today something simple i gotta go though because i just checked the distance and i feel like i'm gonna get there just on time and i always try to get to like dates early because i like to look around the, the environment you know see what's up Okay, let me put it in the GPS. All right. So we're going to head out now. So I'm going to see you guys later. I just have to film my outfit for TikTok. And then that's pretty, pretty much it. Obviously, we won't vlog on the date. Happy Sunday, guys. So the last time you saw me was, I think, 
Friday night when I had my date. Um, that went good. And, um, it was a first date, so I couldn't get any footage because obviously they don't like know that I make videos. So I didn't want to like expose myself. <laughs> Anyways, it's Sunday. I just filmed a clothing haul featuring Loft. Um, featured some new items that I got. I got some very like cozy knits and stuff. So yeah, and I filmed the video without makeup on. Usually, usually brands don't care if you you have makeup on and stuff. So I hope they don't care because I just did not feel like wearing makeup. I feel like for the entire week I was wearing makeup. Um, Monday, Tuesday, yeah. I don't think I had a skin break this entire week. And that's actually one of my skincare routine tips. Take days off from makeup, at least three days to kind of like give your skin time to breathe. So I, yeah. I wanted to have a skin break today and um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have going on today. I still have to film the try on portion for all of my outfits but yeah, it's just been a very chill, sorry there's pe people outside, a very chill, um, you know, day. Before I close out this week's vlog because I still have to edit um, Friday night's footage and today's footage. It's already 12.38, so I hope you guys are mad at me for getting this vlog up too late. Even though I, I literally said, like, I'm going to work harder at getting it up early. Um, again, just give me some time to adjust. Give me some time. Or just watch it on Monday morning, you know, as you get ready for work, you know, just... <laughs> Why am I in such a weird mood today? So before I go, I got some packages in the mail. So, um, yeah, let me just do a really quick unboxing. So this is from Sunday Energy. You guys, I spoke about them so much last year or earlier this year. It's the person that makes the Eva Eye necklace I used to wear. Um, Sunday Energy, she, she sent me a package. Very unexpected, very nice of her. Um, Melissa is her name, she's the owner of the brand. So she sent me a set of earrings here, which is, ooh, these are new. So this is the earring. It has the hoop and then it has a little diamond section hanging down at the bottom there. It also sent me a bracelet. Is this what it looks like? Oh, that's so pretty actually. For some reason I can't put bracelets on on my own because they just... I'm not even going to try. So this is what it looks like. And finally, which I'm actually very excited about it's a necklace but there's two different materials so there's a like a cuban link side and then there's a side with like diamonds or like studs in it and i think it matches the bracelet here very very cute definitely like statement pieces though so i'll probably wear these especially when winter and stuff rolls around because whenever winter comes and you wear like those chunky sweaters all my minimal jewelry just they don't show anymore so I have to either wear like chunkier jewelry um, so this is gonna be good for that for sure so thanks Sunday Energy for sending that over and for me today I'm just gonna do the try on portion to my loft haul for the rest of the day then I'm gonna just clean up my room a little bit I mean my room is pretty clean I'm not gonna lie but I do have some shoes on the floor because I had I, I did go out a lot this weekend I went on Friday night then I went out on Saturday night, so I've just been, you know, been around. I just need to like unpack like my bag, put the stuff in my work bag for tomorrow, and then put my shoes away. And then also I need to plan out my schedule for the week. But I'm gonna do all of that stuff with you guys in next week's vlog, so you guys will see. But yeah, I'm gonna sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week, and that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys soon.